So, today we are once again in Brenda's kitchen. This is Brenda's world and we're all just living in it. And we are starting in the meat and potatoes section of this cookbook. And I just want to quickly say, I will not be making every single <laughs> recipe from this section because we've all seen how it's gone thus far. And we all know how expensive meat is. I just don't think it would be responsible for me to spend my money on meat to destroy it, basically. So we're gonna go in on a few that like, I think will probably work out. That's my strategy with this part of the book. Today we're making meatloaf. Meatloaf with mushroom gravy, which you know what? I was, we were talking the other day about it, about meatloaf, and apparently it's like, in media, everybody hates meatloaf, like meatloaf is so awful. I'm a big fan of meatloaf. I really like it, so I'm hoping that this one turns out alright. I will be making a couple of alterations, um, and you'll see why when I read you the ingredients. When you really think about meatloaf, it's so disgusting, but just don't think about it, and it's great. <laughs> I'll tilt you down. Um, You'll see the dirty counter, and uh, we'll make some loaf. Meatloaf with mushroom gravy. With Elvis, Rosa, and Brenda. Oh, yes. Yeah? What? Do you want me to put you down? Or are you liking this? You seem to be enjoying it, despite your feet. Okay, I'll wash my hands. Wash your hands throw back to the first video. Let me tell you what's in this meatloaf. So what's in this meatloaf is ground beef and egg, breadcrumbs, salt, and pepper. Absolutely not, unacceptable. I will not be eating. I think probably what I'm going to do is just add some garlic powder and onion powder and perhaps some chili powder. I just need something. Yeah, this is fine. one pound of beef. Oh wait, half, duh. <laughs> I like that much. So disheartening. And then that. Why not? We're going for it. Does she recommend a utensil to do this? Just combine, mix thoroughly. I'll use this spatula, and then once I get tired of it, I'll use my hands. <laughs> that didn't take long. I'm already tired of it. <laughs> God. It's gonna be a very small meatloaf. Turns out, meatloaf is just a giant meatball, which I'm into that. Yep, okay. Had formed this into a loaf. Hmm. Was I supposed to grease this pan? Wait. Huh. It doesn't say to grease the pan. I'm gonna grease it. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Not sure exactly. So gross. What? What is happening? I've never made a meatloaf before, but I've seen a lot of meatloafs and this seems right, but it also looks like a brain that's been just smushed into submission. Okay, we are putting this in the oven for an hour. So I feel like no matter what, it's gonna be done. On 350 for an hour? Okay. So, I'm gonna throw this into the oven whenever it beeps. We're putting it in for an hour. And while that's cooking, we're gonna start making the gravy. I gotta wash my hands again. It looks so gross. You know what it looks like? It looks like a tongue. Ew. Okay, that, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've got meatloaf in the oven, and um, we're still about 45 minutes out from taking it out. Or what is happening? 
So now would be the perfect time to start prepping for our side dish, mashed potatoes. And not just any mashed potatoes, heavenly mashed potatoes from the book. Elvis was a meat and potatoes man. He loved mashed potatoes and he loved them best with lots of gravy. So that's what we're doing. Since we're making gravy for this, might as well pair them up. So let's chop up some potatoes, throw them in some water, and then make mashed potatoes. It's not really a difficult task. I literally only have four potatoes, so. You don't wanna watch me slice stuff. All right, we covered those potatoes with water. We're gonna bring them to a boil, and then in about 20 minutes, we're gonna mash them up and start making our gravy. Okay, I don't know what's going on with these potatoes, but they're not getting soft, so we're just gonna let them burn, burn. We're gonna let them cook on a different burner um, until they're soft, and then we'll go on with that if that ever happens. If I don't taste potatoes in this video, it's because I gave up, which is crazy, because they're literally... Anyway, I'm gonna move them, and uh, we're gonna make gravy. Is this gonna be too tiny? I'm doing it. Melt your butter. Two tablespoons. My potatoes are boiling. Oh no. Onion. And some mush. Brooms. Mushrooms. And it says to soften these up in that butter. That is so much butter. What the frick? And that's what she said to do, but that's like, that is too much. That looks so gross. I don't know if you can see that. Ew, what? I feel like Julia Child. I'm disturbed. Need a little more heat on that. Hi, Biddy. Okay. Does it smell good? Just like, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> and now we've got two cups of beef broth that we're gonna dump on it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fine. While that's happening, I've got some cornstarch. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of cold water to it as the thickening agent for that thing. Stop. Ghosts. It's definitely thick. God. See, the butter is rising to the top. So right now it's brown because I just stirred it up, but like the butter will eventually rise to the top and make it look yellow. We can already see it happening because you can't see it anymore because it's too light. Watch this. That's nasty. Let's check our potatoes again. I feel like they're probably tender by now. Would have to assume. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna take out the meatloaf I'm gonna put it on the counter so you can see it, and then I will make the mashed potatoes. Basically all you're doing for those mashed potatoes is adding milk and then mashing them. So I'm not gonna show you how to do that. You got it. You got it. No one's following us. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, okay. Can you see that? Can you see that? It is swimming. Maybe I shouldn't have greased the pan after all. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna let that cool off. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. I'm gonna finish up this gravy and I will meet you at the table. Yeah, Betty, I know. It's all very overwhelming. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, this is it. Doesn't look that bad. Meatloaf. It's a little hard. Can you hear that? That is the outer shell. So that's not, that's interesting. But let's read what Brenda has to say about meatloaf before we dig in. How about that? Brenda says, meatloaf is basic. Meatloaf is real food. And with mashed potatoes, how could you go wrong? It was surely one of Elvis's favorite dishes. Surely it was. How does she, what does she do? Why? Why is it in here? <laughs> Surely. 
I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Should I go for, so I got an end piece and a middle piece. <laughs> so I'll go for the middle piece first. Oh, full disclosure, I did already try the gravy and it tastes like air. It doesn't taste like anything. So that, great use of your time. What? That was so weird. I took a bite of meatloaf. So the first reaction that I just had was I took a bite of meatloaf and then my tongue and teeth felt the mushroom texture. So that is what happened. But then the second reaction is this doesn't have any flavor. But I know I can taste things because I just know. Because I've been eating and drinking things all day and I can taste them. Like, Mashed potatoes taste like potatoes. And I've had, what did I eat earlier? I had macaroni and cheese. I could taste everything. And coffee, but it doesn't. Okay. It's pretty unpleasant. <laughs> I definitely didn't add enough extra spice, but I didn't want to add too much that wasn't in the recipe. I can like, so faintly, there's like a whisper of garlic and there's like a whisper of onion and there's onion in the gravy. So like I can kind of taste that, but then like it's just so overpowered by butter because there was so much butter in that gravy. And then there's beef, it's just like beef. And then the mushrooms are just very off-putting. The texture of the mushrooms are off-putting. <laughs> and I like mushrooms. I'm not, I don't mind mushrooms at all. Let me try the gravy just on the mashed potatoes. I've got a little mushroom on there, cute. Okay, so on the mashed potatoes, that gravy, you can taste the onion, you can taste the beef, you can taste the butter, and it's good because it's on a potato. <laughs> yeah. There's something about the combination of that gravy and that meatloaf that is unacceptable. <laughs> okay, I just had a corner of the meatloaf on its own. It's a meatloaf. <laughs> that is so bland. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Because I can't tell if I did something wrong. I should have not done anything to it that the recipe didn't say. There's no... There's like, it's nothing. And then also the gravy is not really anything either because there's no seasoning in it. It's just butter and mushrooms and onions, beef broth and cornstarch, which also comes through as like another weird flavor. And on the potatoes, it's fine because I added so much salt and pepper to those potatoes. So it tastes good. And that salt and pepper also was something that Brenda did not tell me to do in the recipe. I know. She told me just pepper to taste. Where's the salt? Where's the spice? This is why we aren't doing all these meat recipes because this, I know this is gonna be what it's like for everything and I'm not gonna buy a rack of ribs for Brenda. Not doing that. I can't wait till we're on pie. Because that first pie was really good, and I can only assume that the other pies will also be pretty good. Anyway, I think we're making burgers next. So how hard can it be? I can tolerate a really bad hamburger, so I feel like it'll... Biddy, please. I feel like that'll be okay. Okay, now I have to figure out what to... Ugh, bye! I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Like if you want to like. Comment if you have something to say. Especially if, ha if you have any advice about how to make a meatloaf. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, you know, always check the description if you want to pop on over there. See what's going on. Follow me on the socials. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>